So here's your tip when you're upset or distressed. If you would take 10 minutes to do this exercise, you'd be able to free yourself, let your brain recalibrate so that you can focus and think about what you want to think. So the first thing is, is write down why you're angry at yourself. Write down all the reason, write like, just keep writing. I let this happen, I let that happen. And maybe you're angry with yourself with things that have nothing to do with what you're angry about with another person. I'm angry that I overslept. I'm angry that I argue with my husband or wife. I'm angry because my kids are doing this. Just write down everything you're angry about. And just, it'll just take you three to five minutes. Just write it down, write it down, write it down. After you've written down everything that you're angry with yourself about, Write down what this person did that you're so angry about, that your brain is whirling round and round like it's on a habit trail and you're thinking about the same thing over again. Write down as if you did it. Like for example, my secretary did not return the report to me on time or she gave it to me with mistakes and typos that I didn't catch. So write it down as if I did a report, the report had mistakes and it had typos. So, so you're taking responsibility. Okay, this is like as if you did it. Now, after you've written down what this person did, they didn't meet a deadline, whatever it is. Now, look back at that and say, how would I want to be treated if I turned the report in late or I had a typo and I overlooked it? And then you look and see, is it worth me being angry all day and all night or holding a grudge against this person? I've seen executives be angry with their, their secretaries for a week because of something they did. So is it worth being angry all week or all day or an hour or two hours or missing half of my day because I'm angry? Now, when you write down, what are you angry with yourself about? And then you're writing about the transgression of the person as if you did it. And then writing down, looking and say, how would I want to treat myself if I did this? And then the third thing is, do I wanna let it go? Do I wanna let it go or do I wanna hang on to it? And it'll give you some distance, some perspective, so you won't be so upset and be all tied up in a knot because of anger you can't release. I wanna give you an extra credit. You can write down, when you look at this whole thing, and I'm like, again, we're just talking about 10 minutes, we're not talking about hours, but you've wasted hours and days and sometimes not sleeping at night over something. So just take the 10 minutes and do this and then you can look back. The last thing for extra credit is, is it worth it? Is it worth all the stuff that I've been doing to, because I'm angry with this person, is it worth it? And you can say yes or no. And if you want to say yes, you continue being angry, but I think you'll have more perspective. You say, no, it's better for me to let it go. Communicate anything I need to communicate in an effective way without wrath or temper tantrum, but just saying, okay, this is this didn't work. This is what we need to do in the future. And then you move on. I hope this helps you because a lot of times when we work with people, we're always being disappointed because guess what? We're all human. So click on the subscribe button and click the bell so that you can be alerted of our next video. And remember, you too can let go of anger and resentment because you want to make more money and you want to be much more successful.